Welcome back to Lakeland. I'm Paul Plack, and we're here with Pilatus Aircraft. We're here to talk about the Pilatus PC 12 NG, which is the next generation of an already highly respected single engine turboprop business aircraft. We're here with Mike Hange of Pilatus Business Aircraft. Mike is the VP for marketing. And Mike, thanks very much for taking a few minutes out to join us today. Thanks, Paul. I'm glad you could come over today. I know that people have seen Pilatus PC 12s on the ramp for years. Tell us a little bit about the background of the company. It's how it fits into the mosaic of business aviation, and then a little bit about the history of the 12 itself. Sure. The Pilatus was founded in 1939 in Stan, Switzerland. Um, we're a Swiss company, and we manufacture the PC 12 and military trainers, as well as the PC 6 Porter. Um, the PC 12 was introduced in 1994, and it is uh, a really unique business aircraft in that uh, it really represents a, a value and prop value proposition that is uh, not offered by any other aircraft in the marketplace. And what you get is a tremendous cabin size, uh, respectable speed, a great deal of range and payload, and the ability to land on short and soft unimproved runways. And you have this enormous cargo door in the back, which really makes it a versatile aircraft. Uh, it's been very popular with owner pilots uh, moving their way up through uh, different general aviation airplanes. It's also very popular as an entry-level business aircraft. Uh, companies just starting a flight department and needing to move people and things around. Um, we've also been able to uh, sell some into the special missions market, uh, air ambulance, and uh, we have a surveillance version of the airplane. Um, and also some uh, regional airlines use it. We have a, a high density version where it's used on very long, thin routes, uh, uh, ferrying people and supplies around. So it's really been a great aircraft for Pilatus, and it's, it's our flagship aircraft in the, in the business aircraft market. We're here in Lakeland talking with VP of Marketing Mike Hange of Pilatus Business Aircraft. We'll be back with more in a moment. Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Let's go down uh, one by one some of the major features that have been upgraded in the NG version of the aircraft. Uh, I think the thing that a lot of people look at now in terms of gauging whether an aircraft is up to date is the avionics, and you guys have made a big step up there. Absolutely, and that's what we're promoting here at the show. Uh, we recently received certification, uh, FAA certification and EASA certification of the PC-12 NG, um, and we made a lot of significant changes to the airplane. Uh, the most notable, no noticeable one is uh, the Primus, Honeywell Primus Apex avionics. Uh, this is the new glass panel. It's the, the PC-12 NG is the first aircraft to feature this avionics system. Uh, Honeywell developed it uh, specifically for the PC-12, uh, and they're going to be marketing it in, this, in the PC-12's market segment. Um, and what they've done is basically taken uh, the Primus Epic system, which you see in a lot of the highest-end uh, business jets, and uh, taken a lot of the same components out of it, but then designed it to be suitable for the single pilot. So it's a very sophisticated system, but it's designed uh, for a single pilot operation uh, that it just is perfect for the PC-12. We're here in Lakeland talking with VP of Marketing Mike Hange of Pilatus Business Aircraft. We'll be back with more in a moment. Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500. The jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. All right, there's also been an engine upgrade. Tell us what that will gain the business user in this aircraft. Is it speed? Is it range? Is it both? Payload what? Uh, the engine now is a PT6A67P, as in Papa, and uh, it has. Uh, different metallurgy in the uh, in the turbine fan blades, and so what it enables uh, the engine to do is uh, withstand a little bit higher temperatures, and and that allows the engine to develop more 
horsepower up high. The engine is flat rated to 1,200 horsepower, um, but it, over the when you compare it to the previous engine that was in the aircraft, um, it's developing that power much higher up in altitude. And what it results in is uh, the PC-12NG is now a 280 knot airplane, whereas the old one was about 270. And people are seeing uh, about 10 to 13 knot speed increase uh, in the mid-20 altitudes. Okay, I, I would I would think then if uh, if you're able to achieve higher temperatures in the hot section of the engine too, that that should yield some efficiency gains. That's correct, and we can fly those higher speeds up high. And since uh, the fuel burn only went up a little bit, uh, but uh, at the same time our our speeds went up, uh, our efficiency didn't go down at all. Really, the the range of the aircraft is about the same, and that's really one of the hallmark features of the PC-12. It, it has tremendous range, uh, 1,500 nautical miles with MBAA IFR reserves. Uh, with three passengers and a pilot aboard, uh, you can really load this thing up and go. Well, Mike, we wish you all success. It's a beautiful aircraft. It's always fun to see it at the show because it's always one of the knockouts visually, and it looks like the 12NG is going to continue the, the tradition that you guys have set forth. Thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it.